Hello buddy, welcome back to another video. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to test if a player is sneaking inside of Minecraft Java Edition. Now if you like Minecraft tutorials like this one, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future videos. So let's just get started. Just want to mention this doesn't work on Bedrock Edition, it only works on Java Edition because Java Edition has just way more stuff to do with commands and especially on the scoreboard and execute command. So sadly not possible with Bedrock, only in Java Edition. I'm currently in the newest snapshot but this will work in previous versions as well and most likely in future versions too and otherwise I'll change the description. So all of the commands I'll be using today will be in the description down below but I'll just go through all of them and explain you how it all works. So what we need to do first is create a scoreboard. I've made a whole and separate video explaining how to create scoreboards if you want to check that out link is in the top right hand side of your screen. But let's just go through this specific one. So what you're going to do is go to scoreboard objectives add some sort of sneak scoreboard. Now you won't have to show this but I will show it in during the video so it's a bit more clear. And then the criteria here is Minecraft custom Minecraft crouch one centimeter like this. And so as I said these will be in the description. So if you have this just activate it and we've now created a new scoreboard objective called sneak. Now let's just show this on a sidebar so we can see what's happening there. So now if we start to sneak, as you can see it gives us 5, so that means we've sneaked for 5 centimeters. And now I'll show you that the commands are working and then I'll go through the specific stuff over here. So let's sneak on a little bit and there we go, sneaking, I see you crouching around. So we can test if the player is sneaking as you can see by this contraption over here. It wasn't that easy to do but I've made it work luckily. Now for this you would probably want to turn off your great game rule do command block output because there's a lot of stuff that gets showed on screen during this. So let me do that. Or actually it's just command block output false like this and now we won't see that ugly text again. So what we have over here are the two command blocks that check and then over here are the three command blocks that show the message. So first of all we have this command block over here and so this is an execute command and it will execute if the nearest player over here has a sneak score of 90 or higher and so you can change this to well whatever you want I guess you can change it to 1 as well. So this is the minimum score of 90 and if you add something back here you also can add a maximum score if you want to. And then afterwards we run a set block command that sets a redstone block right over here on this specific block. As you can see uh, there it is. And then this second command block over here resets this counter for the player. So it executes if the score is above 100. So once again you can tweak these two values to make it work for you. It just depends on how many times you want this command to run. And so this will run the scoreboard objectives or the score the players command to reset my sneaking score. And so you'll see that the counter on the right will go up to 100 and then go back to 0. There we go. And so... There is this 100 value and that's because if you place a raster block over here it needs some time to disappear because if you just set this to reset all the time then the redstone block over here will stay there forever and you can't remove it. Like that actually, how did that happen? So this will work the best if you choose this number to be very close to this number over here then it will make it so it won't, will break less often and so it breaks there's a redstone block right here. So what you could also do is have some sort of clock running in the background that periodically removes the redstone block over here to make sure it doesn't get stuck. And then these last three command blocks over here are just the title command over here, the subtitle command and a command that removes this redstone block again. And so if the redstone block stays here then this block won't be powered again and so the redstone block will stay there forever. And so you see it working right here once again. And if you have any more questions on how this works, please let me know in the comments down below and I'll try to help you out. Of course, these commands are pretty difficult to understand and so I get that it maybe won't work for you on the very first try. Now, there is something that doesn't work here, so if you just sneak like this and don't move at all, then it will never detect it. So you'll have to be moving while sneaking for it to detect it, as you can see. And just to show you, if you want to get rid of the sidebar right there, just ignore this command over here and don't show it. 
and then that will never show up on the screen as well but you might also just want to incorporate it for some reason but there we go that's how to test if a player is sneaking inside of minecraft also for some reason if you are sprinting like this and then press sneak it doesn't actually give you any sneak points so make sure that you're just walking and then if you sneak it works that's very strange i don't know why it does that but that's nothing i can fix right here but there we go just want to give a little quick thank you to my third tier member calvin avers thank you so much for becoming a member and if you also want to become a member then click the blue join button below the video and you can check out the different tiers but there we go i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope to see you in the next one so until then bye bye <laughs> Oh, 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 oh.